My name is Jalilino. I'm 27 years old, born and raised here in Punta Gorda Town. I started off school here at Methodist Primary School, PG Methodist. Went to Peter Cleaver um, uh, from Standard, no, actually from uh, Infant 1 to Standard 6. Did my years there at Peter Cleaver. Played sports. First sport was football, but throughout my primary school life, I started playing, actually doing track and field. I went to Toledo Community College for my high school years, which there I got more involved in sports, specifically with more track and field and volleyball. Um, traveled a lot due to sports. Um, I actually, in standard, not standard, I apologize, in uh, third form, set the junior record for long jump at the Kodipa Games. I was around that time 15 years old. Um, went to Singapore for the first ever Youth Olympic Games. Um, then from there, I actually left Punta Gorda and went to Belmopan to further my education studies when it came to my associate's degree. From there, during that time, I was still playing volleyball, still doing sports. And then I went to uh, New York at Lehman College in Bronx to further my education once again. Did my bachelor's in biology. But out there was when I actually played on the varsity team as well. Um, I was around nationally um, for volleyball. It was at Division Three level. So throughout my years, I, I, I did a lot of sports. That's what kept me disciplined in what I actually, you know, what I do today. Currently, I'm the chairman at this moment for Yard Light, which is a youth association developing livelihood in Toledo. So they, we are actually a community-based NGO and we're trying to see how we could push forward for our community, trying to make our community a better place. So I learned all of this community work when I was out in the US as well. I was part of an organization called Next Gen Empowerment. Did some, uh, I was a mortgage loan officer while I was out there. And what I learned during that time is community building, community work is something that is very important. And by reading two books that I got from my cousin, um, I read uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad and also The Spook Who Sat By The Door. It kind of changed my mentality to how I viewed the world. And it was through this process that I said, you know what, I need to get more involved in my community, be more hands-on with trying to make a difference in my community. So I came back to Punta Gorda, where now Yard Light is actually doing work to see how we could actually benefit our community moving forward. Once again, my name is Jalilino, and I hope you enjoyed my short story that I have for you guys today.